the moral to the story is this here. I want to cater to my women that's in their late 40s, early 40s. It's never too late. Do not feel like time has passed you by. You have wasted time and now you cannot pursue your dreams. That's lies. Do not allow the enemy to get into your head and tell you these. Get it in. Look, look what I just thought that you Make sure y'all know she did it. She brought that in. She brought that in. We about to get throwback. And then we do our I know he's just so I know he pissed up. What y'all need? What do you need? And we also have our New Orleans style gumbo, y'all. Ooh, look how good that look. Look how good that look. That looks very, very, very good. Full of my daddy, y'all. Daddy, tell the world, hey. Hey, world. Say, how y'all doing? we see a whole bunch of more of these just like this, baby. That's right. It's a blessed day. That's right. That's right. Happy thanks. Tell them happy Thanksgiving, Dad. Happy Thanksgiving, love. Thanks. Because this is our damn gross and disgusting to me. Look at that. Aww. And he, he, he's deceased, y'all. He's not living. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here, my name is Shaquita and I would like to welcome you to a house of beauty, fashion and entrepreneurship. I know it's been a couple of days since I have picked you guys up because the last time that I talked to y'all, I was downstairs cleaning up and hanging up curtains for the holidays. I have finished that. It wasn't even worth me going back down there showing y'all child moving on. Because let me tell you the bad part about this is, see, I have a lot on my heart right now. So give me about five minutes of your time. Please give me give me about five minutes of your time. And I'm going to try to talk fast because y'all know I'm winded and I, <laughs> and I can go. I can go in. But anywho, from the looks of it, I'm not going to even be here. For the holidays. But, you know, I'm still cool that, you know, I done changed some things around and, you know, spruce stuff for the holidays. That be me going through what I'm going through for the holiday blues because I miss my house. I miss my house. I miss my house. I miss my house. And it's time for the separation of me and the kids. It is. I'm their mom. I'm going to always be their mom. Whether I'm across the world, across the street, across town, I'm going to always be their mom. That's not the issue here. And I did not get offended when they called my stuff old lady stuff. But we, we, we ain't going there. We ain't going there. We ain't going there. Anywho, I came on here to say that I will be in New Orleans for the looks of it and they will not even be with me. My mom had a situation to where she has fallen down and broken her leg. Now I have to go to New Orleans and see about my mom. My mom has been dealing with multiple sclerosis for over 30 years. I would love to bring her here to Georgia so that I can take care of her. Because New Orleans just don't have the things that she need. My mom done broke her leg. They didn't even put a cast on it. Who does that? They say they don't do cast no more. They do splints, whatever. We ain't going into that. I just wanted to say that I will be going to New Orleans for the holidays, which Thanksgiving is not a big holiday to me. I'm not going to say not a big holiday. You know, it just it, it's, it's a lazy day. Thanksgiving is always known to be a lazy day full of eating and just hanging around, chilling with family. You, you don't really do nothing on Thanksgiving no more outside of Black Friday since they done started that. But I'll be in New Orleans for um for Thanksgiving out there tending to my mom. I may be out there for a few days because I can I can't give New Orleans no more than seven days. And I don't think I'm giving them seven days. Because I got to come home and work. I have things to do. Okay? Like now. Right now. I guess y'all wondering like, what the heck is you doing? Every time I see you, you're doing something to your hair. Yes, I'm full of biotin clay. I'm full of biotin clay because I'm detoxing my hair. Okay? 
Y'all already know that I'm a hairstylist of 30 plus years. I specialize in natural hair care. So y'all always see me playing with wigs, playing with my hair, doing twists, out. But that's what my work page is about. That's where I started this journey over there on my work page but then i was introduced into start daily vlogging and bring all that stuff in together because people need to know who royal goddess really is who shaquita taylor really is the brand of royal goddess okay but then i got in and fell in love with the filming and the da -da 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 -da, till i went to neglecting my work page but now my focus is back on my work page and as of today my daily vlogs will be about Shaquita Taylor and Royal Goddess. Yes, I love putting clothes on. Yes, I love, you know, doing makeup and stuff. Yes, uh, even though I don't know how. Yes, I love traveling and stuff, even though I haven't been doing that in a while. And RCI getting on my nerves about doing that. Yes, I love all those things. But I want my daily vlogs to teach y'all something. I promise you, I'm a teacher. I'm a good teacher. You'll learn a lot on this channel. You will learn. I, I wear many hats. I'm very blessed. I done told y'all, God been telling me to pick this camera up for years. I'm here now. I'm being obedient to what he is telling me to do. It wasn't easy, but I enjoyed doing it because I could do this in my sleep. I could talk about hair all day. I've been doing hair since I was 16 years old. I've been professional since I was 19 years old. I am in my early 50s. Yeah, look good, huh? I know. I know. Because I serve a high power that keep you youthful. Age ain't nothing but a number. Age ain't nothing but a number. You are as old as you feel. And I feel good. I done told y'all, I'm still very young at home. My kids can't even keep up with me. They 26 years old, about to be 27. My baby 24. Okay? So, I say all that to say that from this point forward, I'm coming up in here with the authenticity. Blah, blah, blah. I say that right? With the authenticity of who I am. Shaquita Taylor, CEO and founder of Royal Goddess Beauty. I will be taking you guys with me behind the scenes of my life. And my life is simply catering to you guys, making y'all feel good about yourself. Making you feel good about yourself. It makes me feel good as a woman when a woman come sit in my chair who could have been having a bad day, a long day. Uh, she depressed at home. She going through stuff with her kids. She going through stuff with her husband, her mate, her boyfriend, whatever. And vice versa for men, even though I don't do men hair. Okay? But it makes me feel good that I can place a word on them. Or I can give them some advice as well. As making them feel good when I beautify them. That's my calling. That's what I'm here to do. That's what I'm here to do for them. And that's what I'm here to do for you. If you will allow me. So it's very important that uh, when you guys are watching these videos. It's very important that you, you like them. Because that tells YouTube that you're interested in what I'm talking about or what I'm showing you. It's very important that you leave a comment. Because when you are engaging, that also lets them know that you are interested in the topic and the video. This stuff is free. It don't cost you nothing but a little time. Nothing. And this world currency is built on familiarity. If I said that word right. It's built on the fact of you showing up every day. It's built on consistency. That's the new currency. It's the new currency. The new currency is familiarity. Y'all know the word I'm trying to say. Don't play with me. But um, it's built on that. So it's important. And I understand now, because y'all know I'm very new to this still. I understand now when they say, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And sometimes I even forget to say that. But y'all know I mean well. But 
I get it now. That's the importance of saying that because it lets YouTube know where to push your stuff at and it helps you create your own audience. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I love my babies. And when I mean when I love my babies, I'm not particularly speaking of my kids. I love my younger people. I love my younger crowd. Y'all are welcome to stay over here. Y'all are welcome to stay over here and learn something because it's always good to learn from an OG. It's always good to learn from someone that's older than you, who've been there, who've done that, and it's just another rerun to them. So I don't mind y'all being here because you will learn something. But my focus is the women my age. The focus is women my age. I'm here to let you know I do not care how old you is. It's never too late. Long as you have breath in your body, long as the Lord allowed you to wake up to see another beautiful day, whether it's raining, snowing, whatever, every day above ground is a good day. Every day above ground is a good day. And if he woke you up again, he woke you up to purpose. He woke you up because you have a job to fulfill for him. He woke you up because you have a mission to complete. And I'm quite sure a lot of y'all have met a lot of dark times where you ain't even supposed to be here because I told you, baby, I got stories. But I am not about to lay all that on y'all right now because you don't know me that well just yet. But me showing up every day to you guys, you will get to know me. But I want you to know me first. I don't care nothing about no judgment because my skin is not thin. Ain't, ain't nothing skin. Um, ain't nothing thin about my skin. So I don't care nothing about the haters and the, and the people gonna say this and the naysayers. I, 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 I don't care about all that. Keep looking what you're looking at. Y'all already know how I feel about that. Keep looking because that means I've arrived. If I got everybody talking and going crazy, that means I arrived. So thumbs up. But the moral to the story is this here. I want to cater to my women that's in their late 40s, early 40s. It's never too late. Do not feel like time has passed you by. You have wasted time and now you cannot pursue your dreams. That's lies. Do not allow the enemy to get into your head and tell you these things. Don't allow it because it's not true. You can do what you want, when you want, how you want. But the person you really have to believe in outside of God is you. You're going to be the biggest one you have to convince that to. Because you're going to hear the verses. You're going to hear the thing saying, you ain't good enough. They ain't going to watch that stuff. They ain't going to look at I don't care about none of that. I got a job to do. He told me to pick the camera up. Okay, I did. I got a job to do. He told me to keep going wrong. Regardless if two of y'all watched it or three of y'all watched it. I don't care about none of that. I have a message to put out. And he going to see to it that it get to the ears and eyes that need to see it. I just had that on my heart, you guys. I just wanted to come on here and say, you know, I apologize for not picking y'all up in a few days. I want to also come back on here to let y'all know what this channel is going to be about from this point forward. I am here to speak my truth about how I feel about my business, where I'm going with my business, and to teach you guys some tips and tricks and stuff like that and give y'all some motivation when it come down to your hair beautifying yourself and being self-confident and full of awareness in your age because these are the years that we are supposed to be living our kids are grown they out of school out of college wherever in their own homes hopefully uh and things like that to where now you're you're living you, you are living Okay, yeah, you was free before the kids, but you were young. You was young. You ain't have no insight on nothing. You just wild and just living life and, and making all kind of mistakes to learn from to get you to this day right here. To get you to this day right here. And I pray that in, that, in this time, you're ready to start living. Well, I'm going to speak for me. I'm ready to start living. Ain't nothing and nobody in their mama gonna get in my way this time. 
But I'm going to wash this stuff up out of my hair. I just wanted to come on here and say hello because actually right now I'm working. And so as this stuff is drying, I say, let me come on here and talk to my beautiful people because I haven't talked to y'all in a few days. Let me come on here and just let y'all know what's going on, what's been going on, and things like that. So now I'm about to go rinse this stuff out of my head so I can go back to my work page and show them the results and the benefits of using Biotin Clay. Hello, beauties. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, my name is Shaquita, and I would like to welcome you to the House of Beauty, Fashion, and Entrepreneurship. Well, as you guys know that... It is the holiday week. It is the holiday weekend. Pre-holiday weekend, let's say that. And I am on my way to have a friend's giving. I believe I'm saying it right. I'm trying to look in the mirror and put this lipstick on, y'all, because I need me some lip gloss bad. I mean tremendously bad. But anywho. I'm on my way to um, Friends Getting Me. Uh, a good friend, LaRonda, is having um, a get-together today at her house to celebrate friends and family before the holidays. So I'm headed out there. And look, y'all got to see, I got my wig on today. Ain't no more natural hair this week. Mm-mm, tired of it. Been missing my puppies. I've been missing them. I've been missing them. But I'm just doing something a little lightweight today. I'm not doing nothing too extreme because we are going to be playing games and stuff and even this to me is kind of like dressed up but whatever told y'all Shaquita gonna be Shaquita I have on what well, I'm just matching up because I finally got a chance to wear my blue jean booties y'all let me show them to y'all they are so cute let me show them to y'all I'm gonna put this down because y'all know I'm terrible with this camera but look what I have on. Uh -huh. I got my booties on, y'all. <laughs> I got my booties on. I've been trying to wear these things all summer long. Just didn't have no idea, no clue what I was wearing with them. I got my mom shorts on. Oh, they fit so good. I'm so comfortable. So when I go there and be greedy, I have room to breathe. I have my corseted little mid sleeve balloon white shirt on i got my vibe on i got all my jean accessories and stuff on yeah i'm looking cute girl so i'm on my way out hold on let me get back to y'all let me push y'all up i'm on my way out and i'm going to have a good time i got my jean purse that i got from city trend girl ain't this cute and it matched with my boots so well so, like I said, I just wanted to check in with you guys from last night, letting you guys know what to be expecting from Royal Goddess from this point forward. But I'm going to still give y'all fashion because that's part of who I am as well. Oh, and I smell so good. I popped all my red bottoms off, y'all, because I can't work with them. I can't. I cannot work. I have come to the fact to accept. That I cannot work with long nails. They was beautiful. I enjoyed them. But I will be getting me some short French tips from this point on. They go with everything. I ain't got to worry about nothing. I ain't got time for all that no more. But with that being said, I just wanted to check in. I will see you guys at the gas station. I want to all night. Say it. I want to all night. I want to all night. Say it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the Friends in the Friends Giving. I've been saying friend enemy for <laughs> enemy. God damn. I, I don't know why. I don't know why. She I did not say friend enemy. enemy. Friends Giving. This is the host. The other host is over there. Do not want to be on the scene. He said, respect him in his goddamn house. So this is the beautiful Lorenzo. Y'all already know 
little queen bee, she everywhere in the house. You in the building. And that go Dexter. That go Dexter. Yeah, we just sitting here chilling. You know what I'm saying? We just sitting here having a good time. Lorana just made some wonderful dip. Got all kind of Mexican stuff over there. <laughs> we about to get it in. Look, look what I thought that yeah, story about. Make sure y'all know she did it. She brought that. Oh, she brought that. Yeah. We about to get throwback, and then we gonna be throwing some shots back with some black hen, y'all. So, and we got some Patron in the house, so we about to get it in. Then we got some Motel approach. Oh, wait a minute, come on now. We keep it coming, keep it coming. And we got some black hen. And of course, you know we gotta have our beers. Let them know. We gotta have our beers, man. And we, you know, well, like she said, we'll definitely got to have yeah, their beers have them. and stuff Woo! like that. So, so we giving the giving. We giving the giving, giving right now. We giving the giving. We just sitting here chilling. We eating. We giving the giving. We just having a, a good time. Talking good little vibe. Trash. Talking trash. Watching the games. Yeah, we got some games and stuff that's about to be going on. Kitty pack. Stretch. 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 Stretch.
and nasty out here majority of the way i took my time i put my favorite shows on because right now i'm vlogging off of my phone because i've been keeping myself entertained and stuff like that so i say let me go in on just check in with you guys because i know i haven't talked to y'all in a few days due to the fact that you know my plans just switched all of a sudden because i did not have no intentions on being in new orleans for the thanksgiving holidays i had plans on being at my own home for the thanksgiving holidays because you guys know i've been you know sprucing up my house and changing stuff around and that got cut short because the kids was like never mind all that but my mama need me right now my mama need me right now and i'm headed out here basically just to tend to her you know like i told you guys you know she broke her leg and you know she's been dealing with multiple sclerosis for some time so she's down for a minute so i'm going out here to check on sister that's my mama nickname y'all they call her sister so with that being said i got about an hour left and stuff to um to do so i'm about to try to focus on this highway and um go up in here and deal with these old people now i don't know what kind of plans my sister got because her birthday is the day after and my brother's birthday is the day after hers but he's no longer um so we're gonna see what we got going on out here because new orleans is not gonna be busy because everybody in atlanta well i was really trying to be at uh, that's why i didn't have no plans on being in new orleans but like i said my mama need me so i don't know what they got going on outside of the bayou classic weekend right now but them kids done took over that uh, kids done took over that but i hear they got a lot of you know foodery eatery music spots right now because when i left here what number juke joints what number holding the walls but they're trying to get themselves together with you know being more productive with adult outings so i don't know we shall see y'all so like i said i just wanted to check in i just wanted to say hello and um i'll deal with you guys when we get in the house all right bye Happy Thanksgiving, people. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, my name is Shaquita. And I would like to welcome you to the house of beauty, fashion, and entrepreneurship. I know the last time I talked to y'all, I was in the car on the way in to New Orleans. Y'all know I got in like about what that was, about 8 o'clock or so. Yeah, I got in about 8 o'clock or so. It's been a hard journey, but you guys pray for me because I have elderly parents. So I told y'all my Thanksgiving shifted kind of suddenly. I went from decorating, getting my house ready for it to having to get on the road for emergency for my parents. So we are here. Everything is going well. It's just a lot. It's just a lot, but we, we celebrating life. We're not we're, we're not moping. We're not sad. We're not none of that. We're celebrating life today. I am in nurse mode. I'm, I'm not even putting no clothes on today. It, it makes no sense because I'm constantly having to stay on top of my parents. I'm constantly having to stay on top of things because regardless to what, she still won't company. So I have to clean the house. I have everything that come with that so with that being said i just wanted to check in right now because i'm still preparing food i've been cleaning up i've been cooking i've been doing all sorts of stuff you know what i'm saying to get the house prepared to get the food prepared because she can't do none of that no more yeah i done did my tears i done did all that but we are smiling today we are smiling today i will see to it that she will have a good time i will see to it that she enjoy herself but as of now i just want to check in so now i'm about to go back and finish setting up because company will be arriving soon my sister will be coming her with her family and then tomorrow her birthday so we're gonna turn up to, i'm gonna turn up tomorrow but right now it's caregiving time for my family so i just wanted to say happy thanksgiving to you guys and i'll be checking back in with y'all throughout the day when family come but i won't be doing no whole lot of filming because these people are very private they don't like all that so we're gonna have fun when i get back to georgia but until then happy thanksgiving okay y'all we got some good new orleans style peppers 
made by the one and only Vera. We got, we got, we got some sweet potato pies in the back. We got some New Orleans style baked macaronis made with spaghetti because I know y'all don't feel that macaronis can be made with spaghetti. But the New Orleans way is made with spaghetti. We got some good chicken dressing right here. Fire Aya made by the one and only. We have some Cornish hens in the house. Nice and baked and uh, very tender, falling off the bone. We have our rice here for our gumbo. Let's move over here. We have some ham that's fresh out the oven. It is uh, packed with fresh pineapples and brown sugar. Tender, falling off the bone. We also have some string beans that is smothered down with some potatoes and some pickle meat. And for those who don't know what pickle meat is, that is ham seasoning. And we also, hold up. And we also have our New Orleans style gumbo, y'all. Ooh, look how good that look. Look how good that look. That looks very, very, very good. Full of meat. Crabs, shrimp, crawfish, hot sausages, all type of goodness in here, y'all. So we sitting here getting fat, fat full right now. We sitting here getting fat, fat full right now, just relaxing, having a good time. Look at my daddy, y'all. Daddy, tell the world, hey. Hey, world. Say, how y'all doing? We see a whole bunch of more of these just like this, baby. That's right. It's a blessed day. That's right. That's right. Happy Thanksgiving. Tell them Happy Thanksgiving, Daddy. Happy Thanksgiving, love. Do that. We put it on. We put it on. Do that, Gross. It's good. Whenever he allow me to. Girl, what well, now? You put this at Queen because you can show, uh, show I me. Mean, you can't show Queen tonight. Tonight. Where are y'all going? Where y'all going? Where are y'all going? Huh? Yeah. Where y'all going? It's a culture yeah. itself. It's a culture yeah. itself. It's what we live. It's what we eat. Yeah. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah. 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 Yeah
I'm tired. We still here. Today is actually November the November the 27th, and I'm still um in New Orleans uh by my mother and stuff. Still tending to her, getting her all uh, straightened out and stuff. And I'm not gonna leave until I do. Queenie is making so much noise because she's chasing a damn dead raccoon. She's fighting a dead mammal. Animals are mammals. What that thing is? That, that's considered a mammal? A, ra a raccoon is a mammal? Whatever. Reptile, mammal, whatever. She's fighting a dead ass mammal. Sit down somewhere. It's dead. You're going to be eating them in a minute. Yeah, so I just wanted to check in with you guys because I know I have been a very bad vlogger. Because I've been having so much important stuff going on to where I have to take care of more important business. So... I'm about to go and uh, make this tutorial right quick. And then I'll be checking back in with you guys a little later and stuff. That's if I can. Not making no promises. But since I haven't told you in the last few days, I just felt like I need to come on here and say something. I'm on you. I'm on you. All right, y'all, my daddy want to explain to y'all what it is that he do and what it is and how he was raised to know about these kind of things because this is my damn gross and disgusting to me. Look at it. Oh, and he, he, he's deceased, y'all. He's not living. So what you doing right now, Daddy? Queenie! I'm stretching him out. Stretching him out. Getting him ready for the rip. Get his hair off. Wait a minute. Hold up. Shut your face. That thing is dead. What you do is you shut him around and anchor right here. Say it again, Daddy. You take him around and you hang him up like this. Mm -hmm. Hang him up like that on a wire. And you cut him right around here. Right around here, and you get him. You cut him towards his tail, but his towards his tail, you start pulling the hot off it. So after you dip him in, in, in no, no, hot water, you don't dip him in shit. You just don't skin, skin him. Skin him. Oh, and bless his heart. They all the skin away. Mm. Throw the skin away, mm. take his head, keep the head. He goes to the pot too. He likes to, they like to be cooked too. He don't like to go by himself. So, we're gonna take care of him and take the foot out. I'll keep him for souvenir. I keep the foot for souvenir. That's his back feet and all this kind of shit. His back hand. Raccoon is his name. Wow. And he's a male. He's a, he's a male. Okay. When he got the red tail like this. Mm -hmm. Red tail tells you they male, but the gray, oh. the gray parts in here is females. They're black and gray. Black okay. and gray is female. And red is. And black is a male. That's how you tell a female of the boy. Well, that's, that's how cool. you tell the female from a male, y'all, yes. yes. from the color of the tail. The and right tail. now he's getting ready to skin him. Yeah, take him outside and the then the we're up. going. He gonna you cooking him tonight? He gonna be cooked half of him. Gonna be cooked tonight. Okay, well half of him gonna be cooked tonight. And this one right here just can't get enough of. Him. She thinks she gonna fight the dog on thing when he's no longer living. <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Dad, look at you making a mess. You're making me make blood in here. You, you got blood every day. Well. Move, move, get out. Okay, y'all. Let me go. Put him in a bag for a minute. Yeah. They want me to be.